What's up guys? Uh, we are talking about the Elk Bridge today and how you can practice and write music over long distances. And this is something that we've been using in our band for a couple weeks now. And it's, uh, it's a really cool piece of hardware. And if you've never heard of it, um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. And if you're someone who owns one and is looking to make adjustments to your setup or get ideas, I think we have um, a pretty cool one that we use here for a full band. Um, and what's going on is we've got four of us here, um, drums, bass, guitar, and vocals. And then we have um, our other guitarist, Chris, he is in Pittsburgh. Um, so he's plugged into an Elk Bridge up there um, where he lives. And this is how we're running everything in here. So what we've done, um, all of our instruments are plugged into this, this interface underneath the Elk. That's a Presonus um, Fire Studio 1824C. And so we've got electronic drums and these are ATV A drums. They're plugged in there along with uh, bass, guitar, and primary vocals. And we also rigged this up over here. This is just a regular mixer. That's an Alesis Multimix 8. And we've got like our random talkback mics going into that. And we're just sending one line off of that um, into the interface to try to free up a little bit of space because we were running out of ports there in the back. And then of course, from that interface, we are sending two outputs to the Elk, those uh, two Megami cables right there. And then we've also got the two coming from Chris's side with his guitar and vocal plugged in there. And then we're running uh, Reaper um, the whole time so we can record and do all that. And I've got a second monitor rigged up here and that's where we stick the uh, window for the Elk stuff. So it's all web-based. So you come up here, um, you know, once you've bought the Elk and done the subscription for it. Um, you come up here, you go to the website and you can start a session down there and then it will, you know, connect you with, you know, whoever you're jamming with. And there's, of course, there's webcams attached to it so you can see each other and all that. But, uh, you know, that's where your, your session is, the actual connection uh, with who you're playing with. Um, and it's, it's pretty cool. We did a little bit of troubleshooting our initial plan was actually pretty good. Like we had it work and we decided to do, you know, set up that little thing with uh, the talkback mics. And then we played around a little bit getting, you know, our inputs and outputs set up how we wanted and adjusted in Reaper because we wanted to be able to record stuff as we were writing songs because that's just how we've always done it. So we can play along with each other and we settle on something we like, we can go ahead and record it, but we can still do that over distance. It's not just playing along with someone. We've got the ability to record, uh, which was important to us. Um, there's a lot of questions online right now about, you know, getting the setup to work and do other things. What we noticed, um, for example, one question was about the talkback feature, um, which you can see it right there. We don't actually use that at all. We actually didn't even know it was there. Um, we run all of our talkback mics through the interface you know of course we've got going from the mixer to the interface to the elk we're not using the one based off the website um, which i think you know if you've if you're already running instruments and stuff through your interface i mean you know use use real microphones as opposed to you know your laptop and then somebody has to sit here at the laptop the whole time you know now when we're in this room we're kind of spread out i'm back here on the drums i've got my talk back mic uh, you know, we've got our bassists and guitars here share that one. And then, of course, we've got our, our primary vocal. Um, so that's the way that we have it rigged up. I'm going to try to just get just some video of just the actual setup itself in case you might have questions about, you know, what we're doing here. Coming off the... Uh, interface we've got a little headphone amp too so this one over here with this mixer is not active it's powered on but there's nothing coming out of that um, one other thing we did for a test is I actually plugged my phone up into this little auxiliary thing here whoops this little auxiliary thing here and ran an app with a metronome on it I could have done it from 
Reaper, but you know, we're just, you know, we're all about testing out the latency and all that with everything. But I ran a metronome off the phone app into that and we actually played along with that and it actually worked. Um, didn't have any issues there. We're at, where are we? We're about 430 miles, I think, from where we are in North Carolina to Pittsburgh. We did another test um, with a friend that we had met who was in Alabama and that was over 700 miles. Um, and it worked as well. Now, a theory on that one was having me, the drummer, in the middle maybe helped a little bit. You know, they're the guitarist and the bassist, they're the ones that are at the 700 mile stretch. And, you know, they're playing to the drums, which is me, which is, you know, kind of half that distance in between them. We thought that maybe that potentially made it easier. I don't know if it did or not, but just a theory that we had. Um, but anyway, if you're interested in trying to practice and write and connect with other musicians across the country or anywhere in the world, really, um, this is a really cool product to check out, um, the Elk Studio Bridge. So definitely check it out if you're interested. Um, it's a really cool community, too. We've met some nice people online uh, to talk about it. It's, it's so new. Everyone's just kind of discovering it and, you know, figuring out how it works, which is, you know, again, why we're putting this video out there um, but it's it's really cool we like it I mean we could not continue our band without it there'd be no way for us to practice with Chris while he's up there um, and you know now we're connected and it's just like he's in the room with us you know we we see him on the screen we hear his voice of course hear his guitar write and play songs just you know as if he was in the room with us so it's a really cool piece of hardware so check out the elk